Today we're here shooting the 100 waiting kids, meaning the 100 children who have lived in the foster care system the longest. We had world-renowned photographers who donated their time to photograph a child, to, you know, to spend some time with them, to really try and find something about them that was beautiful. We want a wide variety of, of art and, and emotion combined, keeping in mind that, that these children are looking for homes. I mean, this is, uh, really, I believe, really their last chance at adoption. The fact that maybe I can do a picture that's going to affect someone's life in a positive way. How can I not jump at the chance to do that? Good, how are you? Thank you so much for coming. Please, I'm so thrilled to be here. No, Thanks thank for inviting you. me. Okay. Did you get checked in and all We're getting stuff? checked in. When Christine from People called me to ask me about the project, I said, well, that's especially close to my heart because I'm adopted. Okay, what are you Often people can't look past the surface and a lot of these kids have been through some really tough times. But I think in every child is that, um, that purity and that innocence and that joy. Cool, very cool. My name is Kweishan. I'm 17 years old and I've been in foster care for five years. I mean, since I was five years old. <laughs> My name is Ashanti. I'm 14 and I've been in foster care going on eight years. For four years. I don't know how long I've been in foster care. 12 years. Six years? Five years. Basically, mostly all my life. The longest I've ever lived in one place would have to be five years. You don't really plan on staying in one place for a long time, but hopefully I will get a chance to. In 1994, I went into the DIFA system. I don't remember everything from my childhood. Some homes were good, while others, well, that's a different story. Oh, beautiful. I moved 15 times before I reached the age of 12. I feel so bad for most of these kids. You can sense that, that they've been going through a lot of, a lot of trouble <laughs> to come to this place to be here today. And that, uh, with some of them, you know, some of them are better in hiding it than others. I got the chance to photograph uh, Eddie and Fabian, who are brothers. I found out that they only see each other once a month. I saw out in the hallway you guys were, were pretty were pretty cuddly with each other, which is nice. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> good. Hold this like that. Good, 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 good. Billy has been in foster care nearly 10 years. He would be delighted to be discovered. I'd be very, very, very happy. I'd be happy more than anything. So what happened? How come you ended up on 2020? Same thing I'm here. Just foster care to show people that other people need families. Not just like little kids, like little babies that look so cute that you just want to squeeze them. No, oh, even us teenagers need families. Oh, there's the smile. <laughs> One day, I'm going to have a lot of kids and I always promise myself that I'll never leave my, my kids like my parents did to me. Did you get your picture taken? The goal basically is to let people know that these children are out there and that they do exist and that they need some type of permanency in their life. Someone that you can depend on, you can count on, you can go to if you have a problem or if you just need to talk. If I would tell another foster kid about going into foster care, it would be try not to make the same mistakes I made. Because when I went into foster care, the thing I did is I didn't accept any families because they weren't mine. And like, that's a problem because sometimes you have to give them a chance, things do work out. They're not all out there to be evil and stuff. Some people are actually out there to help you. People don't know that I'm in foster care because I don't tell them. I don't think I'm a foster child. I don't think like that. People think you're a foster child, you're supposed to feel sorry. But now I don't do that. Make things better. If you want them, you want them? 
I started writing poetry when I was actually, I'd say, two years ago. Where were you? This is based for my father. Where were you when I needed you and I was in despair? Where were you when I was getting beat so badly and unfair? If you really loved me, then why didn't you show? Where were you, father? There's some things I'll never know. Some parents, I guess you can say, are afraid to take in children because I've noticed that because they already dealt with children or they know, think that this child is gonna be behavior-wise terrible. They're actually great kids, it's just they're emotionally disturbed from things that they've been through and they just need a little bit of help and love. There are 9,000 children in foster care in New Jersey. 9,000. There's probably about 2,000 available for adoption. What makes a family? Love. And the feeling of someone actually caring for you enough to take time out of their life to bring someone else in to love them. Family means to me a mother and a father, people who care about you, and love, love from everybody. Family means that you take care of them, they take care of you. Cause it's like awesome to have your own kids, like that you could love and adore. Just really want a family that will love and care for me. So please. All right, finish up. Just look right in the camera. Good. Well, I think the way that photography can make a difference in these kids' lives is by opening up people's minds to the idea that they might have qualities or virtues that make it worth adopting them.